Lazaric Homestead. Real people. Real living. Hey, Jack. It's chilly. He's trying to think about whether he's going to try to get out. All right, guys. It is May 19th. And it got down to about 40 it was supposed to last night. And the night before it was like 27 in the greenhouse. So I'm going to show you what happened. Some of my potatoes did pretty well. Some didn't. Look at that. Some didn't. They froze. They froze. See, some did pretty well. Some didn't. My onions. They managed to survive. Let's go over here. These onions, they are okay. Let's see what happened over here. Yeah. I think this is supposed to be the last cold night. It was last night. Uh, maybe I'll come trim those leaves off. Uh, the ones that didn't make it. We'll see. Maybe I'll wait till today's Friday. Today's Friday. I might just leave them a little bit and see if they keep coming up. And trim some. As you can see. It is all finished. We finished the greenhouse. So let's go. Oh, let's see these. These are my these are my uh, radishes. Strawberries. Forty-eight. It says it, it's in here. Let's shut this door. It got down to thirty-five last night. But everything the night before it got down to like twenty-seven. So I covered all of these with all those buckets there, and I covered all the tomatoes. But everything seemed to survive last night. These are my cucumbers. Congo watermelons. Some tomatoes. Onions that I started in the house. They look to be doing okay. And then tomatoes. I fertilized in here yesterday. And then on this side, tomatoes, and then my Dixondale onions. So all, everything seemed to make it. My lettuce, this is iceberg lettuce. And then over here is broccoli. It's quite chilly in here. The 
very small in here. Even my peppers made it. Wow. These are some Congo watermelons. And then some more cucumbers right here. Tomatoes. So these are all going to go outside in the raised beds right here. But everything survived. It says it's 48. Right here on the left side is says 35. That's the minimum it got down to and the maximum it got up to and what it is right now. Potatoes took a beating, but uh, we planted enough of them, so hopefully uh, I'll go out there and maybe snip some of the leaves off. We'll see. But, yep, this is the Garden and Greenhouse Happenings from May 19th. We'll go out and see. Uh, my onions that I kind of just threw, I threw these onions in my green stock. So some of them are, are doing something. I might take some of these out and put some of the other ones that are in, in the greenhouse that I was going to throw away. Let's go look over here at the lettuces. It's just so cold. There's some lettuce in there. There's a broccoli. That broccoli's looking nice. That broccoli's looking nice too. And then lettuces. So we got stuff going, but we are slated to open the pool up this weekend. We'll see, because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So maybe not. Maybe Sunday. But we're supposed to get a lot of rain coming up. So. Yeah. You hear the birds? I want to get that tree out of there. That's what we got going on. I'm a little sad about the potatoes, but nothing you can do about it. Got to go with Mother Nature. I wasn't about to try to cover all this stuff yesterday. And then here's my strawberry patch. Looks nice. Looks nice. All right, guys. It is freezing out here for me, but potatoes. All right, have a great day. A friend of mine dropped this off yesterday. She put this together and made this for me. Sierra hangs out with her daughter. But I just love it. It's going to get hung outside of the greenhouse when it starts to get a little warm outside. But isn't that nice? 